What's up, y'all? So <laughs> I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Who did I think I was, right, to get into this content? Because, boy, when Blueface get to talking, it get real, real nasty, okay? Now, for one, before we even get into this video, everything that's said in this video is alleged. Girl, I got to start there because when I say the type of the type of accusations he's making and the things he's talking about, what I'm getting from it is my boy, he on that shit. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. I feel like he on that, that book of sugar. I feel like he uh, leaning with it and rocking with it, all right? Smoking on them tweeds, and don't forget he will finish a bottle of Hennessy all by himself, okay? Now, I'm not going to lie. In a few years, maybe not, maybe 10 Blueface going to feel every bit of that syrup, all right? He going to feel every bit of um that them, them bottles of Hennessy, too. He is playing a dangerous game, and I really hope he drink a lot of water because I'm going to let y'all know right now, that shit ain't no hole by the time you get to 30, all right? But anyway, that's just my age talking. Let's get into uh, these Blueface tweets. We got Blueface. We got Krishan Rock. Hold on. Let me not forget we have Marissa today on the docket as well. Now, Marissa is Blueface. Uh, excuse me. Marissa is NLE Chopper's baby mama. All right. Blue is the one that started it. I already asked my people. Uh, so let's get into him first. Now, he says, sometimes I'm, I'm sometimes I'll be ready to link with a female. Then I beat off. And I don't want to link no more. Now, in the beginning, when I seen him say that, I'm thinking, who like who you trying to tell that you're not doing bad things? You know, like who are we, who are we uncrippling like snitching to today? Okay, are we telling that to Jaden because you want Jaden back? Or are we telling this to Krishan? Right? Or is that Booger Sugar talking? Now, the next thing he said was finally. And I think he's saying finally to Krishan covering up them tattoos. So I got to know that that's what that's what that was, because he's saying being tatted on a hoe is not a flex. You literally effed Cardi B husband a couple weeks ago. I'm tired of niggas looking at me while they effing. You get the rest of them gone, please. ASAP, please. So when he said that, you know, everybody like what? <laughs> you know what I'm Everybody's like. What you mean? You know what I'm saying? Now, y'all know recently Cardi B and Offset have unfollowed each other. Follow me, camera. I, I, I know a couple things now. All right? We might be a little true. So, boom. He said, I ain't never uh, talk or touch that lady. Real talk, man. You need some help, right? He's saying that he needs some help, and I'm going to tell y'all why, and I'm going to show y'all why Bluefist needs help, okay? Uh, first of all, Oh, shout out to Jaden going to her booking last night, period. We're going to get into that as well. We got a lot to get into. Like I said, follow me camera. So Bluefus, uh, he put on his story today this. Now, a lot of y'all might be like, it's nothing but a picture. Yeah. Until you look in them eyes. These eyes look like I ain't on that shit. <laughs> Allegedly. Do these eyes look like I ain't had a bottle of Hennessy? Do these eyes look like I ain't sniffed nothing? Do these eyes look like I ain't smoke no gas? Do these eyes look like I ain't drinking no lean? Now, remember, he's on probation. So uh, lean, I think, stay in your body for about five days. Um, Y'all know the gas going to stay in there for about 30. It can stay up to 30, for about two weeks to 30 days. And alcohol, I believe you could piss that out within a night. Okay. The next day, you probably won't even see no alcohol. You drink a certain amount of water. This looks like booger sugar. This looks like that lean. He leaning with it and rocking with it. And it also looks like he's drank a bottle of Hennessy, right? So he's saying, uh, I'm not going to be in this shit by myself, so I'm about to bring everybody up in this. Yeah, he needs help, all right? But one thing we know that he not going to do is get it. So let's continue to watch the shit show unfold. Now, the next thing that he said was ain't nobody trying to crack Chopper BM. The F is that about, LOL. We discuss no words other than I'm Chopper BM. I've never met an itch I couldn't crack, right? So, boom. We go to, the reason why he said that is because Krishan and her went live yesterday. Also, Krishan said it today. You over there trying to crack in LA, Chopper baby mama. She dubbed you. You got no riz, my boy. All right, that's what Krishan had to say. All right, so boom, we like, all right, well, uh, next. 
Let's get the next portion of this shit show, shall we? So, next, Blueface said, um, hey, man, say, man. Uh, you niggas and itches decided to join Blue Circus when you guys decided to indulge. You guys watch the show, see how ish play out online every time. So for you men and female that decide to enter the chat, there's no mercy. I ain't deleting ish and everything I said. It's factual. Welcome to the circus. So he decided today that he's going to be very cripply like and not delete a tweet. Y'all know that's his thing. So his next tweet is going to come from Krishan saying that uh, he might be a little sweet, might be a little sweet tea. Now, let's talk about how I saw gay porn in your recent search in recent search history. That's why I honestly got the cover up, bro. I had zesty. I had a zesty nigga on my neck. Nothing wrong with being bisexual. Just let an itch know before she fall in love. Weirdo. Uh, so yeah, that's what Krishan had to say about that. Now, Krishan has yet deleted that. And I feel like she might've deleted it because, uh, she felt like she might've said something a little rude towards the gay community. Oh, uh, and I'm tripping because this right here, it's right here. She didn't delete that. Um, here it goes. So yeah, shout out to Krishan not deleting things. <laughs> All right. So the next thing that he said after that was, now, I watch gay porn. That's the best you could come up with. So, Blueface said that he ain't got nothing to do with it. His name is Bennett, and he ain't in it. He ain't doing no gay porn shit. So, then he says, try to keep your secret, but you keep popping it on these apps. I'm going to only state facts every time. So, Blueface is insinuating that he's telling the truth. Even his mama has yet jumped in. We will get into her ass later. So, then he says... So you ain't F you ain't F Cardi B husband November 10th at 4 a.m. at their house in LA. I'm making this up. Krishan. Now I'm gonna say this. I don't think Krishan smashed offset. I think that um offset, that would be crazy for offset to do. You already got enough drama. You already sticked your hot dogs in a bunch of buns. We don't need extra buns for you to be sticking in. Plus, Krishan is fertile, and I believe offset is too, with the way he has babies. So with that being said, I think that would be crazy for both of them to do. And I don't believe it. But uh Armand Wiggins, he is on his Twitter and he has a uh, post of where Krishan was um, on, uh, when was it, November 10th? Okay, please don't, please don't let a dick pull up. Please don't let a dick pull up. Where is it at? Here. She was actually at French Montana's birthday party that day. Now, I thought I was tripping because I thought Krishan was with uh, Tamar that day. I remember her being with uh, at this party or whatever. But if I ain't mistaken, it was like the week before I thought. And they posted it on November 10th, I thought. Now, I could be absolutely wrong, but I'm going to need y'all for the receipt diggers to go dig up them receipts. Now, y'all, believe it or not, I don't dig up receipts. I have people send me things and shout out to y'all. But with that being said, uh, where's the receipts on that? We got to get into it because... Uh, Armand Wiggins post this, I uh, know Tino Shea. I just think that he was just insinuating, Hey, Krishan may be lying. Now I don't believe it. I'm sorry. Ain't nothing you could get me to believe that. Cause f forget Krishan. Offset would be a fool to jump into this circus when he already got one of his, that would be crazy. All right. Anyway, um, post that time and date on their ass. Not everybody quiet. So Blueface think he got a big fish. Okay. So he about to pop his shit. Uh, of course, he said, if you don't take it far, I, don't, I won't go no further. Then he said, Hurricane Blue has hit and wiped everyone off the map, off the app. We will take a brief commercial break till someone is feeling froggy again. So Marissa decides to step in the chat. Now, Marissa said that she ain't got nothing to do with this and reposted it. Uh, Krishan reposted it. Uh, I would never lie about some ish like that. Everybody in the building saw you. I get it. You were intoxicated. Why would I say I'm somebody baby mama then? Because me saying I'm cool with your baby mama didn't work, right? So talking about you going to choose my baby mama over me, absolutely. Then when I told you who my baby daddy is, you asked how old are how old is your child? Then you shrugged. I went off. Um, and basically he pulled her back in, said, don't walk away from me. She said her mic was on and they was recording and everything. She ain't got to lie, Okay. Uh, so that's how 
she entered the chat. Now, Blueface, y'all see I am keeping up, baby. I was on live a couple seconds ago. I couldn't get right. But yeah, I'm not about to get left, okay? So let's get into it. Marissa entered the chat. Welcome to the circus, baby. I never once asked you to choose nobody over, nobody never once pulled on you what type of freak ass-ish you own with this story. But the fact that you interested in sharing lets, lets me know you have feelings because putting 20s on a Honda with this story, like, <laughs> like if you wanted to be a part of the stable, uh, there's a much better way to go about this. I would not want to be a part of his stable. That would be crazy. Anyway, I was introduced to you. Never did I approach you by uh, myself. We woke, well, excuse me, we spoke for one minute tops. I said, hello, maybe my hello made you feel a way. But after that, you instantly told me who your baby daddy was. I said, I respect that. You were actually acting very accordingly at the time. Never would I thought you would take that and make a storyline out of it. Uh, so it makes me wonder how you really feel. So then he insinuates that she want him basically. Um, this showing that you have a lot of interest. I know when somebody want to give me some, uh, some cat, then he posts her full name, not her full number, but her full name for sure. And damn near the number. So now people are calling her, um, and insinuating that, uh, well, not insinuate nothing. They calling her as if her number was leaked. So her and Krishan spoke about that. And here that is. Uh, go get help, man. I don't even like Crips. My BD got a pass. <laughs> so Krishan said, well, excuse me. Marissa said, this nigga leaked my number or something. She said, I think he went to our phone plan and got it from us texting. The bitch is crafty. And I believe this. Now, first of all, you know, if you want somebody playing, you could get a hold of anything. And that's a fact. Um, so I wouldn't doubt if he didn't do that. He's a he's a sneaky nigga. Anyway, Marissa said the nigga need to go to the crazy house. That extent you just went to lie and to continue this lie is crazy. You're weird as F. You're even more weird getting my number however you did. Instead of telling the truth, you continue to lie. Get help ASAP. Now, Blueface got to feel some type of way about lying and getting like, you know, pretty much caught up in your lie. But he not that type. And I, I believe that's where narcissistic behavior comes from. I know we love to use narcissistic and gaslighting. This is narcissistic. When you really just genuinely don't give a fuck about what you're doing to a person, torture them, lie about it, whatever. And that's just it. That's what he's doing. Uh, we're going to have a brief intermission while she scrambles to make it seem like this isn't true. Uh, but how else would I have your number? Boo. <laughs> Then he posted the cash app. He posted her number on the cash app. Um, I went to Rock's phone company to get your number. That's the best you could come up with. Niggas lie, bitches lie, but numbers don't. Um, and then when I go further, some ridiculous tweet up there. See now that see now was that so hard? Should have kept your mouth shut in the first place. All right, so that's what we are with these these tweets. Now just give me a second. Girl, I, I need a cigarette today. Let me tell y'all something. Bluefus will go to any extent he can to make it seem like he's telling the truth. We've all seen him do it. He's continuing to do it. I don't see how this nigga do this type of shit and then be calling the bitch at the same time. Like, my fault. I, I know I made up a bunch of bullshit. I would say that that would be cap, but his mama does it. We watch her do that every day. You know what I'm saying? So this is the craziest shit I've ever seen in history in, in the history of crazy them okay from from this nigga anyway he's done a lot of crazy things but bro i don't believe that marissa shit i believe she's telling the truth um nle chopper jumped in it too by the way and just recited his lame ass uh verse that he or excuse me hook that he has on his song anyway uh so yeah that's that Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below, girl. I have nothing, nothing and nothing. Okay. Um, I want to know what y'all think and put it in the comments. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.